Hi, I'm Dale the Insanicid. How's it going? Let me know in the comments and hit the like button before we get started here playing more Terraria. On it, of course. We are on the world of chaos. And, uh... I have... I need to stop doing that. Uh, I've added these prismatic cores into the piggy bank here. For reasons we're gonna get into. Everything else here I'm gonna toss into storage, because we don't really need those. And uh, the reason I want that is because we have this, the Stellaglyph Tier 1. Doesn't really seem like we go anywhere with it, but uh, we have it. And we need the Tier 2 version, right? For that, we need five of those. We're also going to need Demonite Bars and Diamonds. We should get that with time, so that's not too, too big of a concern. Um, but yeah, then we can start exploring some other worlds. But that's not, that's not what the mission that we're going for today is. Today we're going for Crabulon, so we're going to need glowing mushrooms and either a demon or a crimson altar. Let's see how many glowing mushrooms we have. 104. That's way more than need. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to head towards the crimson. All right. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I should really try to get some... Uh, pylons to uh, place in the Crimson and Corruption, potentially. Maybe one at the dungeon entrance as well. That would be a really good good place to have a pylon, I think. I might have enough gold for, like, one pylon. <laughs> Maybe. Big, big maybe. All right. What did I pick up? An ancient steel bar. That's interesting. Strawberry hit ice cream. That's cool. Literally. Know what all of this is for. We need a key for it, though. Weird looking key. There we go. <laughs> I think it's my big whacking stick. Yeah. Sometimes you just need a big whacking stick to whack stuff with. Edge of the desert and into the crimson. Picking up a lot of fallen stars tonight. Out of there we go. Okay. Where are they? Horses. Ow. Oh, rockets. All right, we'll use this as our source of light. There we go. Okay. Oh, 
almost down into this part here, which I remember having a demon altar. So this is what we need. The... the that... The... 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 the Potted... Uh, sprout? Thing? Yeah, that. Okay. Temporarily pause it everything else. Get you back out. I feel like I have no reason to have two of these, even though this one's better. But anyway, <laughs> I don't think I can just summon Crabulon out of here, can I? I have to be in the mushroom biome, so. What is the quickest way to a mushroom biome? This one isn't really that far from me. I know we've used this one to get down to that one pretty quickly, but... It would be great if I went in here and actually tore this structure down here and actually built, like, finished building the rest of that and put a... thing in for that, a pylon. Get the word out of finish. Okay. We'll go here. That was dumb. I wonder if this thing here can, uh... Mind this stuff. Broken Earth Shaker. Nope. A vib vibrant shard. Nope. It does not appear that you can mine that with that. Very interesting. But okay. I want to know what that stuff is. Okay. Right, we are on the edge.
one gold ore in the middle of a bunch of silver. That was interesting. We can get over to this little section here. Fantastic. What's in the chest? Summon damage? What is that? Do we have both of them? That would be fantastic. That's why we found a compass. Interesting. Ow. A golden cart. Okay. That's like, what is that? I should probably catch it rather than, you know, trying to... know what happens if we kill it we got a gold bar that's useful That's good enough. We have enough stuff here. Okay. Good luck. Time to fight Crabulon. Let's get our, our big beat stick. I'll whack him with it a few times. That's doing a ton of damage. Brabulon's no match for the teen not a lobber. Foregone conclusion. But you did earn it. Right. Her inventory is nearly full. Okay. All right, good stuff. What do we have? Your ruthless, ruthless mycelium claws. That sounds interesting. I mean, if you're like super close range. my point here like he just melts enemies 
Like, some bosses that might actually be super effective against. What is this? Heart of Stone. Your defense will increase based on your depth. That sounds interesting. Um... Jagged Fungal Clump. Yeah, yeah, we we see the we see the heart crystal. It's, it's there. Okay. Anyway. All right. That's another item off the checklist. Crabula, this big ugly guy has been defeated. Guess what is next? Of the brain of Cassini. Which, you know, means we are wrapping up the world evil stage. So, we're actually probably going to have to do something special for the uh, Eater of Worlds. By the way. This around. Very interesting. Alright. We are gonna need a hammer, though. Grab this tin hammer, and then, uh, I'm also gonna bring. Over to the crimson and take out the brain of Cthulhu. It's funny, we had to go to the crimson to get the item to summon Crabulon, and now we're gonna go back to the crimson. a brain. Now, I personally think that the Eater of Worlds is the easier of the two world evil bosses. But the Brain of Cthulhu is the natural world evil boss for this world since Crimson is its natural world. Now, yes, this world does have a corruption biome in it because of one of the mods, but for whatever reason, this particular mod doesn't allow you to have both <laughs> bosses because it doesn't have the correct altars or the correct things to smash. So, I'm pretty sure if we went into the corruption, we would just summon the brain of two. Based on that. You gotta be careful not to attack that. That is a boss we will be fighting very soon. Not yet. We're probably strong enough to face it. Anyway, what I do love about this is like, oh, that actually puts out light. The claws do. That's very interesting. Now, I brought bombs for this very purpose right here. Uh, you're going the wrong way, bombs. I want you here. No. Here. One of those, hopefully, will pull up where I want it to. Ow! Okay. Do 
this. No, you can't. Go, there's one. Fan letter. <laughs> Full of intrusive compliments, but it's surprisingly inspirational. Okay. Sounds interesting. Okay. Okay. There we go. Stay right there, and it might... Nope. Not gonna quite work. What if? I've got an idea. If we just create a little nest for the bomb here. Right? Go away! Messing with my plan. Drop that in there, that might actually be high enough to... Barely, but yes. do it. Yes. Okay, now we can actually get up inside of there and break that thing. We're gonna need you to be here. Screams that go around you. We're definitely picking things up. Anyway, we created a, a nice little mess over there. The funny thing is, my inventory is getting so full that, like, I might have to pull out Piggy Bank just to... That was well. Alright. Close enough in for that. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Got him! But you did earn it. And we got a mysterious key. A dark heart. 40 basic damage. Every 40 
ally life heal. Okay, that's not gonna help us at all. Alright. Alright, we're gonna deposit everything. Ah. Now we can pick up the rest of everything that didn't. Okay. There. We might as well, since we're here, break open a couple more of these things. You know, for science. we can throw this there and then that'll give us some, some light okay I wonder if I can break it through the wall. I can. Okay. Get on out in here into the open. Basin. Pray like heck that the meteorite didn't land on top of the base. Actually, we might be able to kind of scan the surface here and see if I see anything that looks like a meteorite landing site. And I don't see anything. Maybe we'll have to actually physically go and find it. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Back to the main base. We did get one more prismatic core. That's excellent. Hurtful Stalker. Grants the ability to dodge attacks. Attacks that deal less than 5% of your max life and damage will not be dodged. The dodge has a cooldown that ranges between 15 and 90 seconds. Temporarily increased critical chance after dodge. Make confusion nearby enemies after being struck. That sounds like super useful. Okay. Good stuff. 
I don't see anything in the inventory here that I need to keep around. We're gonna loot everything except for those. Actually, we don't really need that anymore. We can let that one go. Um, the keys definitely need to stay in here. This needs to stay in here. All right, everything else into main story. Make sure that I don't have anything here I want to keep on me. Yeah. Okay. And we're also gonna chuck our ammo in here because we're not currently using a bow. <laughs> also, you. Uh, loot all except you, you, and you, you, and the gold can go back in here. All right, posit everything. Actually. Well, that's much better than we'll keep that. I, let me make sure this actually works to cut down trees before I said that. I'll just chop down one of these random trees here. It does. I also got a grapefruit. That's pretty sweet. All right, you. The war axe and the hammer can both stay in here. Because you never know when I need them. We'll actually keep that on us. Okay! The rest of this in storage. Now, let's look at our book here. Eater of Worlds has actually been checked off here, even though we haven't beaten it. It's interesting. That is not correct. So, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna fix that, <laughs> though. And I don't know why this is question marked off. I'll have to look into that. Why that is question marked off and the Beholder is next. The Beholder spawns rarely in marble caverns after the Eater Worlds of Red Cthulhu have been defeated. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Indeed. Uh, Brain of Cthulhu has arrived. Where's he at? I'll see you. Unless he exists in... Oh, no. He's living inside this this little house here. That's... That's fine. <laughs> Alright. That's where we're gonna wrap this video up. Thank you all for watching. Of course, I will see you guys next time. But of course, remember to turn on the light and open the door because you can't have sanity that at least a little insanity. I will see you guys next time.